going on, everybody? DJ Goham here. It's time to bug Chuckamassi. It's Fom Tom Dog, baby. It's Fom Tom Dog. Hey, Chuckamassi, what are you doing? I I'm editing your video. I'm trying to beat you with your video. Nah, I'm going to get mine out first. Nah, no. Nah. Yeah, I am. You no, get, get, get back to work. Get out of here. <laughs> you get to work. I'm going to beat you. Oh, man. Today, we've got A2 Studios TLX 9000 update. JA Modding has a cyber quad. Ben and Mods of ABP team has a new fact sheet for us. Sir Vertex has a new trailer, but it's awesome. Kalaruga Modding updates us on the Chimera Pill trailer. FSH Modding have released the final teaser for the Sun Cut Pack. FBT Modding have a new Brazilian shed. Black Eyes Modding have an official announcement. Steve's Mods is making it bumpy. MJ Modding has another update for us on Tom Pemberton's farm. It's Sunday, which means Peter716 has an update to Greenlands. Plus, White Bull Mining have some new exclusive screenshots for their new American map, Richport. Let's check it out. Starting off today with A2 Studio in the update to the TLX 9000. He says that the update is almost ready, but as usual, with something new. And of course, he couldn't just add the update to the semi truck itself. He's also added it to the 48 foot enclosed trailer as well. If you want to check out all the progress for this and see exactly what he's done, check out the link below beside A2 Studio. With all the hype around ATVs and UTVs in Farming Simulator 90, J.A. Monning decided to jump on board as well with something a little bit different than what we've seen. He says today he brings us the Tresla Quad Lizard. This is basically a Tesla four-wheeler right here. It's based on the Tesla model itself anyway. It says, if you like the idea, what do you think about adding Tesla type trucks to in game. Everything that JA modding does is for all platforms. So hopefully we'll see something like this. Hopefully in the future, hopefully it's not too similar to what's going on. He does say he's gonna be sending this off for testing on Monday. So we would just have to wait and see what happens. Ben and Mods of the ABP team brings us a new fact sheet today for the old generation Massey Ferguson pack. Today, we get to see the MF15-2 that's gonna be found at Forestry. It's gonna cost you $850. This hooks up to a three point hitch on your tractor and will drag logs from point A to point B. Sir Vertex has something really cool and really exciting for us. He says, hello and welcome. Today, he brings us very good news for the weekend, announcing the trailer for sugarcane harvesters, which has the purpose of transporting sugarcane harvesters, but it's difficult to do at least normally. As you know, in game, it's very hard to get these up onto vehicles just from the way that they are, get them into trailers, things like that. There's really only one or two that it works well for. Well, he's trying to bring something specific and purpose-built to that arena. He says, as the harvester picks up the cutting bar to the ground, it kind of drags along. So the aim for this trailer is to correct this problem, the locomotion to slow the machines down and get them up there. So that should be good to go. It says, oh, and then you'll have another new mod for Mod Hub. Oh, yeah. Galaruga Modding updates us today on their Camara Platform PF65 for all platforms. They say they're getting tired of taking rides loaded with straw. They said this one, they have 11 laminated round bells to feed the cattle. The end game for this trailer is going pretty well. So if there's time next week, and you're going to try to send it off to Mod Hub for testing for all platforms. FSH Modding have released a new video on their YouTube channel showing off the Lizard Sun Cut Pack. They show off all four models that we've seen, the 6, the 8, the 10, and the 12 row models. These are for sunflowers only, so do keep that in mind. They all have their own trailers for them as well. Really, really cool stuff. Check them out. Link below. FBT Modding has a new shed for us today. They say their first prefab for the game, the Brazilian shed measuring 30 by 20 meters. They say it is ideal for medium-sized farms. Could be even for larger farms as well. Say very soon, a version will be sent off for Giants for testing. We've got some unfortunate news for you today. Black Eyes official modding the creators of Ischia Farm and bringing grapes into the game, things like that. Well, they say they wanted to let us know that there are some people in the community that are posting as their moderators, spreading false information, whether that be about maps, mods, or otherwise. They said, if you want, you can only find official news on their Black Eyes official pages. And of course, that goes for really any modder out there as well. Steve's Mods has something real cool for us today. It's a work in progress, a green lane that is very, very bumpy, giving you the feel of a real life track. Going around, he says he's still got some details left to do on it. 
And of course, the name of the map that this is on is secret at the moment. But if you want to stay up to date, you know where to find it. MJ Mining updates us today on Tom Pemberton's farm, a map being made for all platforms. He says the house has now been added onto the map. They have now finished with all of the main models on the farm. Just now need to add the small things like cow brush, and these stalls in the cow shed. It's Sunday, and that means we've got an update to Peter 716's new map, Greenlands, being made for all platforms. He says he hasn't done a lot that can be shown off this week. He says mostly a lot of time spent fixing small stuff like floating objects and adjusting gates. He has finished the outside of the map and finished the animal placeables. They just need to be tested and maybe adjusted slightly a bit. He says he's been trying to sort out the PDA for the last few days, but hasn't been going great to be honest. Says he's had several failed attempts because the steep terrain doesn't match up well in game. He's spent hours playing around, uh, cropping it, trying to fix the parts that don't match up. Says it hasn't worked out very well. Sometimes things like this just happen. This is the, the unseen part of making maps. Says though, last night, he was able or made the terrain flap just so he can get a dedicated PDA that's not off, he says. But now, it's all detail because the objects were either floating in the air or under the terrain, mostly just trees and hedges. So it was planned now to add these in on the image editor. So sorry for <laughs> rambling on and things like that. There's just a lot going on with this. And he's trying to be very honest and very transparent with the process of Greenlands. We've gotten almost more information about this than we have for anything else, any other map that we've ever seen in Farm Sim, at least that I've seen. So he's still hoping to get the map finished over the next week and then upload it to Mod Hub for testing early next week, says, but that's all going to depend on how the PDA map goes. He still has to finish the PDA, test the map and fix, and upload to Mod Hub. He is planning on streaming this week on Wednesday and Friday, 7 p.m. UK time on Twitch and YouTube for about an hour. That is going to be at 2 p.m. Eastern or 11 a.m. Pacific time. Says no stream on Monday so he can work on the PDA. And lastly, today we get some new screenshots from White Bull Mining on their next map, Richboard, but it's not just one today we have a bunch of screenshots as you can see we've got shots around the farm shots of the house we've got a few screenshots here that we've seen before but most all of these are brand new i do want to give a quick shout out to white bull mining for contacting me over on discord and uh, offering to send these over i'm not sure if these are um just for the gohan fam or if these are out and about but I do want to say thank you very, very, very much from the bottom of my heart for sending these over. That is so cool of you guys. This is a map that I'm very excited about. White Bull Mining make amazing maps, but generally they haven't really done much as far as American maps go. Well, this is going to be a new American map for all platforms. And this is going to be the end of the video. Just like every episode of Farm Sim News, links to all topics discussed today can be found in the description below. There are no release dates for mods, so myself nor anyone else knows when any mod is going to be released. If I did not talk about something that you're interested in or curious about, that just simply means that there's no new information at the time of recording. Please refer to previous episodes on the most current status of those projects, and make sure you stay tuned to the channel for updated information on everything new going on in the world of Farming Simulator. Well guys, that is going to be it for today. I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, make sure you drop a like on it, get subscribed to the channel if you're new, and join the GoHam fam. Make sure you turn your notification bells on as well so that you never miss daily Farming Simulator videos here on the channel. All being said, hope you have a great day. We will see you later. Bye. Trucker Matsy's leaving. No. I'm going to miss you, bro. You too, man. I hate to see you go. Love to watch you leave. We'll see you. Bye.